Hi everybody! In this video I'd like to speak about um, the peristaltic pump as this one that I have here. I purchased this pump uh, two years ago because I want to start uh, an hydroponic system and uh, I thought to use this uh, pump for the dosing system. I purchased this pump from uh, a Chinese supplier and I pay around 6 euro which is a kind of uh, cheap price for this type of pumps. According to my understanding, uh, this kind of pumps uh, is suitable for a uh, dosing system because uh, it's made on this way. Uh, it has a reel that uh, is turning uh, around the edge and squeezes the tube that is inside this tube. This is a very soft tube, probably it's made of silicon. Now I will uh, open the valve to show what is inside. Later we will make uh, some experimentation and test if we can have a reliable dosing of a liquid. Let me open the cap of this valve, which is this piece, which is just uh, attached using some uh, clips. Okay, so I open the pump and here we have these two pieces. Uh, this one is uh, just the electric motor and it has an axis, this one. And then we have this part which is very interesting. As you can see there are three wheels, the tube and the axis of the motor just fit inside these three wheels. So the wheels at the same time squeeze the tube and provide also some uh, mechanical reduction because uh, this motor has no reduction so it's going at quite a fast speed. Next I will test this pump with different pulses duration to see if it can give some reliable dosing. Then here we have uh, the test setup. I have this uh, container with the water, then the pump is here and then we have uh, another small container that has uh, some levels. I will perform the test several times to see the reliability of the system. I have to make two observations before we start. The first thing is that these tubes are very small, so I found it uh, difficult to connect something. I use these uh, green tubes that uh, probably are not the most appropriate for this purpose. The other thing I noticed is that uh, the pump spin quite fast. I expected a little slower rotation. Another thing is that the pump is self-priming, uh, but uh, anyway, to have uh, a good result, we had to fill in the tubes with the water before we make the testing. The setup is ready, so let's start the first test with the 10 seconds pulse. The pump was already primed. Ok, let's see the result. As you can see, it's a little more than 10 milliliters. Let's try again. Ten seconds. This time it's exactly 10 milliliters. Let's try again the third time. Okay. 
here we are yeah also this time it's 10 milliliters we can see then uh, the results are quite uh, reliable and we can reproduce the same behavior let's try another time Yes, we have 10 milliliters. So I have to say that this looks like a good product, even if it is quite cheap and the performances are reliable. If you need the dosing for very small quantities, like it can be the nutrients for the hydroponic systems. This is a 12 volt pumps and it works very well with the Hydrosys 4 system and the automation board which I have connected exactly here and if you want more information about uh, the board and the software uh, you can check the link in the video description maybe next step is to start to build some automation for the hydroponics I hope this video was useful and thank you for watching